Hey, I'm Richard, the white label web designer, and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can create a fake filterable gallery in the DV team for free. The reason I call it fake gallery is that it will actually not be a gallery module, but we will be using an awesome free plugin from Daniel Felch called DV Filter instead. But for the user on the front end, it will look exactly like a gallery, like a filterable gallery. Let's get started. As I said in the introduction of this video, we will be using the DV filter plugin, so please visit the website, the link will be below this video and also in the written part of my tutorial, and simply click on free download and then once again click free download button which will download the plugin for you, and then just make sure to install and activate the plugin on your website. As the next step, I created a new page and inserted three rows below each other. Each of my rows has four columns, but you can also use your own layout, for example, three columns, five columns, whatever you want. And then you can also have as many rows below each other as you'd like to. So if you want to have 10 rows, that's totally fine. Just remember that you can only have one image in each column. This is essential for this tutorial. And then in order for the gallery to look a little bit better, I also inserted some custom CSS, so I uh, inserted them in the page settings, custom CSS, but you can of course also have the code in the team options, custom CSS, or in your child team's style sheet. The code will be below uh, in the written part of my tutorial, you will find the link below the video. And of course you can style the gallery, these, these image modules totally based on your preferences. Now this doesn't look perfect on the back end, but when I save the layout and open it in the visual, actually exit the visual builder and open the page on the front end, this looks perfectly fine. As you probably noticed, the pictures that I uploaded are from New York City, Chicago and Los Angeles. My goal is to filter these cities based on the button that I click on. That means if I click on the New York button, it would only show pictures from New York City. If I click on Los Angeles, it would only show me pictures from LA. When I click on Chicago, I would only see pictures from Chicago. So in order to do that, I created a new section this is the section on the very top of my page. And in that section, you can see a row with four columns and four buttons. Of course, you can have as many columns and as many buttons if you'd like to, but because I want to filter three cities, and then additionally, I would like to have a button that shows all of the pictures, I have four columns in my layout. And then also another thing that we have to do is open the settings of the section which contains our images that we created, you know, the, the layout that we created before, open the advanced tab CSS ID and classes and next to this class that I already have there, which is mainly for the design purpose for the CSS that I uh, wrote, you, we also have to add another class, which is DF area. All right, next we have to open the settings of our buttons, go to the advanced tab CSS ID and classes, and we have to give the DF button class to all of our buttons. So I'm just going to click on copy CSS ID and classes style and I'm going to paste it to all of our buttons. And then since I want to filter only New York City pictures when I click on New York, I have to open the settings of New York button, go to CSS ID and classes and I'm going to add another class to this button. This time it will be DFC New York, and I'm just going to type in NY as a shortcut. Then for Los Angeles, this is going to be the same process, but instead of NY, I'm going to say DFC LA. For Chicago, this is going to be DFC Chicago. For the button that should show all of the images, we can just leave DF button and that will automatically show all of our images. And then what we have to do next is we open the settings of the three rows that we have. So we have to open settings of each row and then of each column as well, go to the advanced tab of the column settings, CSS ID and classes, and you have to repeat what you wrote in the particular button. So for example, in New York, we wrote DFC New York NY, right? Well, in this case, this is a picture of Los Angeles. So I'm going to say LA. As the second one, as the second picture in the second column, I see Chicago. So obviously I need to say DFC Chicago. 
and so on and so forth. We have to do it for all of the columns of all of our rows. And then we just save it and we will preview our layout. And this is how my result looks like. I pasted all of the classes. So now when I click on New York, I only see pictures from New York. When I click on Los Angeles, I only see pictures from LA and the all images button just shows all of the images in my section. Now, one thing that we can also add is when I hover over the images now, it doesn't do anything. Now, what we can do is we can add the lightbox functionality. So I'm going to click on all of my images holding CTRL on Windows. I'm going to open their settings, click on link and check open in lightbox. When I save this and refresh the site when the visual builder is off on the front end. So you can see now when I hover over the image, it will give me the option to open the image in the light box. And this is the final result after I played with the styling of my buttons and I also added some CSS code to have these nice hover animations on the gallery images. What I would also recommend you is to check the premium version of the Divi filter plugin. The link will be below this video or in the written part of my tutorial because the premium version will enable you to have some active button styling. That means if you click on New York and you see the New York images, you could have a different styling of the New York button so that you know that New York is the one that you currently preview. And the same would apply for the, all of the other buttons. You can also add some nice transitions, some nice animations when you switch uh, between the image categories. So you can go to the website and you can use the coupon code Richard, which will give you 10% off. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and see you at the next one.